hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video uh, we will see how to create a car with steering control uh, so you can see that we can uh, move this car by uh, using this wheel control so uh, it's actually very simple so let me show you how it's done so first thing you need to do is you have to uh, download a plugin from asset store but don't worry it's free of cost so uh, the plugin's name is simple input system you can uh, download it from unity asset store free of cost and it's uh, about 1.1 mb so after uh, downloading this script you need to import it inside your assets folder so in the plugins you can see that i have a folder called simple input and in that we will have a folder called prefab so inside the prefab we will uh, you will find uh, different controls so uh, we will use this uh, last one called steering wheel so uh, to use this first you need to create uh, go to the ui and create a canvas and drag and drop the steering wheel inside your canvas on that steering wheel we have a script called steering wheel script and it has some properties that we will take a look in later next thing you need to do is you need to uh, put some car or you can simply put a cube or anything that you want to control on that car we have a rigid body component and we have a script called drive and uh, i have added the main camera in the child of this car so that it will move with it now we are going to write the script the drive script so in that first you need to create a two uh, float variables to store our input so uh, i will simply say input horizontal and i am going to copy and paste it and same with the input vertical now we need to string variables for our axis variables so i will say horizontal axis and i'll say horizontal so make sure that you spell it correctly now i'm going to same with the vertical with a capital v and we'll change it now uh, we need to write the update function <coughs> Or you can simply put the code inside a fixed update so in that first we need to uh, move our car so I will simply say transform dot translate so uh, we need it to move on Z axis so uh, X and Y will be 0 and on Z axis I will simply say 1 but 1 will move it very fast so I am going to normalize it by multiplying time dot delta time so and we also need to control the speed of our car so i'll simply say 5f so you can create a float variable here called speed and multiply the speed instead of hard coding values so now we need to get the input so and store it inside our horizontal and vertical so input horizontal will be equal to so now we will say simple input so uh, because we need to get the input from our steering wheel so uh, the package and uh, so we will use the simple input class to get the value we will say uh, simple input dot 
get axis and we will say horizontal axis now same thing with the vertical axis copy it and paste it and here we will replace it with vertical axis so after getting the input we need to uh, rotate the car so we will simply say transform dot translate and we don't want it to move on x axis rotate on x axis so we will say zero and on the y axis we will uh, get the value from input horizontal that is our horizontal axis and we will uh, multiply it by some uh, variable again you will you can create a float variable called speed or uh, rotation speed or something like that and the third uh, also we don't want it on z axis so zero and we will simply put space dot self so uh, this is actually uh, on uh, on the relative to which object so we will say that uh, uh, rotate or uh, rotate this object so we need to put a rotate here so uh, we need to rotate it by the self space so that's why we are putting space dot self now save this script go back and make sure that this drive script is on your car object and let's play this So uh, you can use this control to make a parking lot or a driving simulator game and uh, we will see in the later videos uh, how to add a brake and a race button and we will uh, create a simple parking lot game by using these two assets so the car here i am using it's uh, also available on asset store free of course you can download it from there so on this steering wheel we have some properties maximum steering wheel so smaller this value if the value is smaller you will uh, get the, uh, uh, the your rotation speed will be higher so let me show you what i mean so if i put 30 here instead of 250 now we can you can see that our car is rotating very fast so you can uh, change these values uh, to uh, and play with these values to get the desired <coughs> results so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and like this video